Word. God, he's such a freak. I love him. Oh! 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 We have tea? That struck a mother nerve, bro. That struck a nerve. <coughs> Good god dang greetings gremlins. How the hell are ya? It is me, Neveval, here with another reaction night. Today, we are here with episode four, 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 five. I know how to count. We're here with episode five, dad beat dad of has been hotel. It has been like three weeks or something. No, I can do math. Two and a half weeks since I've recorded. Wait. It has been like three weeks since I've recorded a video, so I have like all this hype energy in my body, but I'm also still sick. If you're in my Discord server, which if you're not in the Discord server, you better click the link down in the description below because only 25 people can join using that link, but also there's other links on other videos that have 25 uses, and I guarantee you, you could probably find one that's still usable. <gasps> But yeah, I've been sick as fuck for a little while. So I'm sorry if I sound a little silly vanilla. Uh, I can't change it. I can just cough really obnoxiously. I'm gonna try so hard not to cough during this video while the video is playing. And if I do, I'm just gonna cut it out. So if there's a part that just like skips for no reason, it's cause I died. But other than that, I'm really excited to get into this because just judging by the episode title, I might finally get to meet Lucifer. In the last episode, we got to see the heart-wrenching masquerade that is Anthony's portrayal of himself as angel dust and we got to see a little of under the hood with that situation a lot more stuff happened but i know that you're here to watch this episode not get a recap of the last one so let's get right on into it yay it's been so long <laughs> It's been so long. Uh, oh my goodness. Look at that little moth lady. Fuck Mondays. Oh god. Oh, she's cracked out. Uh, oh my, her eyes. Redemption. Oh, wait! You guys, look how cute Anthony's little spider chibi version of himself is. That's so cute. So lethal. I love it so much. Ah! Wah! Wah! The manic laughter is crazy. Look at her. She's tripping, tripping. Oh my goodness. Charlie, chill. Redeeming people who were so bad in life that they were sent to hell is not as easy as having people do trust fall exercises. Like, it'll help, but girly pop, gamate. Like, it's gonna take time, more exercises, more dedication, uncovering the root of these people's issues of why they are the way that they are. It's not like summer camp, baby girl. This is a commitment. Ugh, the animation is so good. I doubt that that's exactly how the meeting went. <laughs> Red rum. So fair. I love that she has all of the eggs in her phone contacts. Ah, divorce lore. <laughs> he sounded so like proud, like he figured it out. Like that was so good. Also, Nifty, you're scaring me. I said that Nifty was definitely gonna kill somebody in one of the previous reactions and somebody in the comments was like, Oop, and now I know for sure that this bitch is gonna kill somebody. She is going to kill somebody and she's definitely done it before. I fear. <laughs> also, Angel, please don't call Lucifer the big dick in charge. That is terrifying to think about, especially since I know from like comments and stuff discussing uh, everyone's height that Lucy, itty bitty girly pop, he is a tiny little man. He is minuscule, baby, 5'2". Although if you're 5'2", 
and AFAB, you're so tall. You're the tallest ever. The tallest in existence. AMAB, I'm so sorry. Itty bitty baby. So small. I'll catch your steak for you, baby. <laughs> I have too much energy right now. <sighs> oh, please don't try to fuck Charlie's mom. Thank you for taking the knife. He's definitely not scary. Oh, he's... What are you doing? He has an apple on his hat. Ah! It's perfect. It's so perfect. Also, look at our guy. Oh my goodness. Oh, he has a lot of rubber ducks. Oh, is he gonna have a thing for rubber ducks? He might have a thing for rubber ducks, guys. Hey. Ooh, oh, the design of his room though is so good. It's so, so good. Like the apples having wings embedded in them is a really nice touch with the sun being a giant eye. Father, son, and the Holy Spirit. Ha 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 ha. Oh, and the portraits in the background. Like we got baby Charlie and we got the whole fam. We have their really, really happy, cute family portrait. And then what looks like a silly little guy on the top right, but I can't really see because our rubber ducky is a tiny bit in the way. However, look how happy Lilith is and Charlie and Lucy. Surely Lilith was the one to decide to step away from the relationship. Just judging on this single frame that I've experienced alone, I feel like she had different expectations of Lucy that he couldn't quite fulfill. This is my headcanon that I'm developing right now from all of this tiny bit that I've seen. I feel like of the two of them, Lilith is more likely the one to have walked away from the marriage, which sucks that after like, who knows how many thousands of years or eons or whatever, they were together once they have a child. <laughs> Loki is when shit goes sour. Whoops. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. It's all so silly and so sad and so silly and so sad. Anyway, let's keep going. Aha! Oh! How fun! Oh, he's... Oh, that is so sad. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's cool that it breathes fire, but... Aw. Oh, the panic! Don't char-char her, that sounds like a Pokemon. A bit. Her hair going up. Aww. Okay, I need to protect this man at all costs. He's so itty bitty and small. Look at him. Look at him. Uh, uh, uh. Like, he's really, oh no, you guys, he's still wearing his ring. You guys, he's still wearing his ring. He's still wearing his ring. Oh no, that's so sad. It was definitely not his idea to split up. But also just judging by like the small bit of conversation that we've seen them having, I'm going to say that he's the kind of partner to not fully absorb when they're being told that something needs to change and it's just like yeah 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 it'll be fine it'll be fine until eventually the other partner i.e lilith can't take having to re-explain why these issues are issues over and over again and then quote unquote all of the sudden she's like i can't do this anymore i'm leaving you and he's like she wouldn't even tell me why she left but it's like she's been telling him for like fucking years what the issues were you know what i mean just judging based on the fact that like i told you where i am dad we've talked about this you forgot again it's the kind of thing where you can only really stand to be forgotten so many times before you're like i i'm frustrated with you i can't handle you anymore but hopefully this is the beginning of their arc of patching things up you know that'll be really nice i'd love to see that More important than your daughter? Oh, come on. What a quirky little fella. What is he drinking? Aw. Oh, his little eyes turning into diamonds. I, 
I'm dead. Oh, wait. <gasps> Is that a lies? It's so sad that, like, being able to see both sides of the conversation, you can tell there's a reason why Lucifer can't do this for her. Like there's something that isn't, he just simply doesn't want to. There's surely something blocking him from being able to do that. Or somebody in heaven said, if you ever try to fucking talk to us again, we're gonna rain hell on hell or something like that. You know what I mean? But like, look at Sir Pench's little face. I know he's really watermarked up, but like, look at the guy. He's so itty bitty baby. Aww. Aw, uh, yeah. Give her that support. Aww. Uh. Yeah. Ooh, the texture on that chair is nice. Ah, the little rainbow hoops in the back. man's depressed our little guy he's suffering someone help him oh my goodness our poor little dude <laughs> i wish that he perceived it as my daughter's asking me to come and look at her project to support her rather than she's asking me to hang out because it's not quite that although i'm really excited for the general expectations of how batshit crazy hardcore lucy is to be demolished for the entire hotel i cannot wait because you know that they're all like oh lucifer morningstar he's gonna come in here and fuck every shit up he's gonna be so powerful and mean and just scary and then he's gonna be like i'm gonna fruitcake you know what i mean <laughs> He can't teleport? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Welcome daddy. Wait a minute. Oh, Alistor doesn't know that he's coming. The welcome daddy side is too much. My little heart. Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh, he's so short. Ew, why is Alistor so angry? Yippee. Oh, Gatho. Oh, he knows Kiki and Razzle and Dazzle. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Oh man. Oh, he's like obsessed with the circus vibes. The way he wiped his hand. Oh damn. Are you the best? Oh. <gasps> oh no. Oh my lord, this took a sharp turn. The dick measuring contest is on and they are laying it on the table. This is insane. I <laughs> Oh man, okay, even if you think that the renovated areas are an eyesore, it's your first time being here. Maybe make a better impression and don't just be like, mmm, wow, that was shit. Just like the one guy in the pilot episode, like chill dog, just try to be supportive. Also, shout outs to Anthony in the background looking so tickled with himself to be seeing this dichotomy between the two of them. I adore it, oh my gosh. Oh, the bugs fucking is crazy. Oh, look how happy he is. Oh, 
oh god not the father-like jealousy oh she's so sad but like in a positive way Yay! Oh my goodness. He didn't- wait, my man didn't know she was a lesbian? <laughs> Actually, I think she's bi, canonically, but he didn't know she had that sapphic love in her. How old is she supposed to be? <laughs> How long has it been since I've talked? I, I oh man, this is tough. This is rough. But also, writing-wise, they're doing a great job of providing indirect exposition here by showing that he doesn't know like where she is or who she likes. He's never met her girlfriend before. That shows just how long it's been since he's been able to properly interact with her. And it's just very well written in that way. I enjoy it. Also, Nifty, chill the fuck out, babe. Oh, man. It's her time. Oh, man. Better get to it then, babe. Ew. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh shit! Oh my god, this is so hard for no reason. Hold on, I have to go appreciate those chibi versions of him because the ventriloquism is crazy. Ah, uh, another wondrous screenshot from the trailer moment. Mm -mm -mm, baby. Not the reviews on Yelp being significantly distanced from each other. Hello? Look at this guy. Get it. I love the sound effect bites. I love a good onomatopoeia. Surely there's somebody out there with this as their wallpaper, right? Like one of these still frames. <laughs> there has to be. He looks so silly. He looks like one of his little ventriloquist dummies. That's so fun. Also, I love that this entire song is basically just him becoming really jealous that she has another like potential father figure in her life and he's needing to like lay claim to his grounds as her dad again. It's very funny. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, wait, he had the alternate color palettes in the background. Look at him and all of his alternate color palettes in the background. Oh, that's so fun. You can tell that he was such a good dad to Charlie when she was like a little kid. Like that there might have been some character change for him along the line that like made him this way now. But if he was still this way when she was younger, oh, she had a hoot and a half hanging out with this motherfucker. And he loved it. He loved hanging out with her when she was little because he could do all of his silly quirky things and she'd be like hee 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 and then she probably hit like a teenage era where she was like "Ooh, dad you're actually kind of cringe and then he was just like oh well sad sadness depression boy but also to be cringe is to be free i mean look at you you're watching an animated person reacting to content on youtube and i'm making the content <laughs> oh god he killed him Oh my lord. That's a lot of caviar. Oh, he's here! <gasps> Alistair cosplaying a nun is not something that I knew I needed, and here I am. Also, the fact that Alistair feels like he has stakes in this dick measuring contest is crazy. He does not seem like the type to give a shit about whether or not daddy is here to flaunt his power, but like, I will not reject a fresh Alastor bar though. I love when Alastor makes any vocalization sounds at all, and I'm here for it. Yes, the alternate color palettes. Ugh. Ah. Uh. Aw, that was so cute. Oh my. Doubt. <laughs> Brother doubt. There's no way that Alistor ever wanted to have offspring or have to deal with a tiny, like, itty bitty grubby fingered little child. There's 
no way no way he's doing all of this just to get at lucifer and make him jealous for what just because it's lucifer and he wants to like have beef with the king of hell like i wouldn't what is his what is his angle alistair always has a fucking angle he's too intelligent to not have an angle and i see it he has an angle with this angle you know what I mean? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? You hear me? You hear me. You're looking at me. You're perceiving. You're understanding. You got your ears open. You got your ears so wide open and you don't even use Q-tips to clean them because that's bad for you. Stop using Q-tips to clean your ears. It'll make you more hard of hearing. I don't care if you feel icky. Put some fucking water in your ear in the shower and rinse that bad boy up. Don't use Q-tips. How did I get here? I don't know. Let's get back to the song. Oh yeah, he wants to hurt him. Oh, bust out the violin. Oh, oh yes, a jazzy contest. Oh shit. Oh man. let's go let's go baby that's what i'm saying charlie that's what i'm saying uh, that is my dog right there that is my man hell yeah i love this guy this guy is great he's probably not a very good dad in the long run but i like his attitude he's got spunk he's got pizzazz he's got the zhuzh he's got the je ne sais quoi Oh, his eyes. Word. Look at them. Oh. Oh, hey. Girl? I know her name's like Mimsy or something. I love that everyone's like, who are you? Yeah, Mimsy. She's fun, but who? That's what I said! We interrupt this program to bring you my bullshit. You gremlins know how much I love you and appreciate your support, but what if you wanted to do more and receive perks for it? Well, now you can by becoming a Gremster. For the low cost of your soul, $4.99 per month, you can help support the channel and get access to fun stuff like custom emotes and loyalty badges designed by yours truly, member-only photo and status updates, got them seeky secrets, additional weight on upcoming RNs. If you have something that you really, really want me to watch or you want to take part of the Gremster only polls that I have to sift through some of these options, then make sure to click that join button. In addition to all that, you also get member shout outs and priority replies to comments. Oh, and of course, don't forget to check out the merch link in the description below to see all of the wonderful designs from mugs to sweaters to stickers to pillowcases. I got it all for y'all and it's all drawn and arranged by me, so you'll be supporting the artist directly. Thank you. And now back to your regularly scheduled ritual. You are pretty adorable. Uh-huh. Wait, she had a tattoo on her back. Oh, she has a mammon tattoo. Shout outs. I just noticed that it's a boy sign. Help? <laughs> what? What is going on? Somebody somewhere said that they had canon that whoever has a like one black eye or a messed up eye sold their soul. So if she has two, does that mean she sold her soul twice? Oh, they knew each other in real life. Not that this isn't real life, but you know what I mean. You know, you don't really get to see it much, but I love when characters that are drawn typically a little bit more curvy are still really confident. I love it. It is such a fresh sip of water that I feel like is becoming more and more common in modern day. 
I would still love to see a character that has a body type that isn't stereotypically perceived as being like drop dead gorgeous because I think people can look at Mimsy and be like mmm curvy big boobs a wooga and that is really awesome we need far more representation of the curvy folks out there but I feel like I still yearn for a character that is just like average looking but still confident oh Oh, work it, girl. Work it, girl. <laughs> this is so funny. I really adore that Mimsy was like a showgirl in her life and now her fit is like film reel and teeth. It's very fun. I enjoy that a lot. Oh. Oh yeah, she would know him. I like her lashes. So fair. They're winning. Get him. That's honestly so fair. I wonder how many people from Alastor's experience on the earthly plane have wound up in hell and even found him. Or if he has any other companions that aren't soulbound to him like the way that Husk is, because you guarantee Husk does not see Alastor as a friend. But I'm curious if he has anyone other than Mimsy, because he did seem pretty happy to see her when she was first introduced. I don't know, I'm curious. True. Oh shit. Who is this guy? Ooh. Oh, I like their designs. Strange <gasps> radio <gasps> sounds like my recordings. <sighs> oh, that's kind of fucking badass. Oh, the classic clip. Oh, that's really cool. What about the story you know? That is so funny, actually. He's gone! His ass left! I love that so much. I love them introducing someone who knows the softer side of Alastor because, to be honest, I don't believe her. I think that he is just as manipulative in those situations as he is anywhere else. I don't know. I just feel like he's a sneaky little guy. In fact, he's even shorter than he is. Oh, shit. Ew, don't do that. Very true. Very true. Word. God, he's such a freak. I love him. Oh! 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 
MFT? That struck a motherfucking nerve, bro. That struck a nerve. Where were you? Did you get into some trouble, Alistor? Did Alistor make a silly little deal with a silly little fuck? Oh. Oh, disrespect. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh, he's shaking. The music. Yo, okay, Alistair can be really scary when he wants to be. I know that ordinarily we view him as the strawberry pen, as Anthony put it once upon a time, but like when he's trying to be, that man can give him a fucking nightmares. I'm just gonna say, oof, we don't get to see that side of him often. Oh man. Come on, dude. I love this man, but I want to throttle him. Open your ear holes. Open them up. Get the Q-tips out of there and listen to what your daughter is telling you. Good, sweet Satan, this guy. Oh, that's a good shot. That is an interesting notion. Hmm? That sounds very interesting. Cause like, I feel like most people, when they imagine heaven, they imagine the supernatural version of heaven. You get your own little room that isn't actually little. It is your own dreamscape of sorts where anything you want can be there and can exist in there. You can drink, you can do whatever, you can have family members that aren't really dead yet be in heaven with you, like a copy of them to exist with you so you're not alone, etc, etc. But I think there is a slight chance that heaven is just late stage capitalism. <laughs> I don't know why, but I have this feeling. I have this feeling that it, heaven's either going to be late stage capitalism or it's going to be like communism or something. It's going to be a little commune up there. Yeah. Oh, the wheeze. Oh, shit. Look at the little guy. The little guy at the end that was just hanging. Fifty grand. Mimsy. Mimsy. So real, Nifty. <laughs> okay, I know that chaos is raining down upon the hotel, but I cannot unhear my cabbages from what Nifty just said. <laughs> Oh man. He's not even appreciating that like these are the people that actually want to change. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, and the mimicry of the the angel wings with him being tendrils. Ah. Uh, oh, for free? 
okay no but really bro he looks so sick i love this and i just have a feeling that this isn't even his like most powerful form he's just bigoting himself to make it easier for him to consume the folks outside and i'm ah oh sweet satan it's so cool and like when he's big like that his mouth doesn't open for him to talk his teeth flash like a little radio and that's so cool that's so fun Yeah, Dad. It's more than you did. Word up. The popcorn. Oh, man. She's a cleaner, not a carpenter. Uh oh. I'm curious if Husker acknowledging that Mimsy had this type of behavior had any effect on the reaction that we just saw from Alistair. I know that Al mentioned that he can handle himself or blah blah blah, but I wonder if him pushing Mimsy away in this moment was anything to do with Husker's reaction. I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little interested, I'm a little curious. Mm -hmm. Is the hard shell of Al finally breaking? I don't think so, I think that he's gonna be a big bad until the end, but you know, that's just me. I'd love to see him redeemed, but highly, highly doubt, highly doubt. Oh man. Oh, she's pushing his buttons. Oh shit, the challenge. Not the finger. Look at her stomping away. I can't. But I'm here for you. Donald. Are we getting another song? Another dad song? Listen, they didn't listen to me. <laughs> they won't listen to you. You don't know that. I do. I my little gay heart is so devastated. We're about to get a lament from Satan himself. Actually, I think they said that Satan is a different character in this show, but we're about to get a lament from Lucifer Morningstar himself in his cute little clown face. I, oh my, I'm, I'm not ready for it, but I gotta be. <sighs> I gotta be. Oh. Aww. What is that? Just like a clump of his magic? Oh, they look so sick! Aww. Oh, he's such a good singer, and Alistar is gonna bust in and ruin this whole song. Aww. Ooh, the beat change. Oh, she's so tiny. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh no. 
Oh, you can tell just by the way that Lilith is animated in this shot that she'd made her decision by this point to leave. Oh no. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, that's so sad. Our little guy. Our little lady. And look at her little music notes on her nightgown. That's so cute. Oh, the, the, the lore. The lore. I'm sobbing. Aww. Damn, Lilith's got crazy hair. Oh, Lilith's are fetches! Ooh, those high notes, baby! Get them! I'm embarrassed that it's taken me this long to notice the literal snake on Lucifer's hat. That is so perfect. I love that little attention to detail. Oh, oh they're so cute. This is so sweet. This is so sweet. It's giving, it's giving, um, fucking, oh God, what is it called? It's giving You'll Be Okay. Stolas' song, his little lullaby, that it's like a similar energy to that. It just, uh, it's so sweet and wholesome and precious. And I feel in my bones that something is going to roll in and fuck it all up. Ah, oh, the circus. The harmonies. Ah. Nifty, don't say some cursed ass shit. Ah, Petches. Oh, so you can teleport. He was just being polite. Good. Are you ready? I'm ready. I have no issues. Oh. Here, right? Give me a call. Oh, now we get vaggy lore. Dude, this was so fun. This was such a good episode. It was really silly seeing uh, Alistor and the Lucifer have their little dick measuring contest or whatever. Very, very fun and silly. <gasps> Spindle horse! Fuck you, Bento. You ruined the vibes. Uh, not really. I just, I need more time to do my spindle horse bit and they cut it short now. They made it faster. <laughs> This was such a fun and silly episode. I had such a good time. After the emotional devastation of the last episode, I feel like the writers were just like, maybe we give the audience a little break because, oh, it's sad shit out here. Very sad. But ah, I can't wait. Now they have their stairway into heaven. Ha ha ha. Get it? It's funny because stairway to you get the joke anyway i'm really looking forward to seeing what happens next when they go into heaven and all of the plethora of characters that we'll be able to meet up there and to gawk over you already know me <laughs> and just uh i'm so sad because like i get this feeling watching this episode specifically that something with lilith and Lucifer that they that Lucifer had a similar dream of wanting to redeem people and Lilith was the one that was like you're stupid That's not gonna work out blah 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 blah, blah. and then Lucifer went to heaven and was like let me do this and Either Lilith was 
on heaven's side convincing them that it's a bad idea or as punishment for even thinking that this could be an option heaven like took lilith away in some capacity or something to that effect i feel like lilith is probably in hell somewhere but there is a slight chance that maybe perhaps i just want to throw it out there if she's locked up in heaven somewhere because they have rules i don't want you to get crushed like i was and to lose what i lost etc etc uh but the songs in this one were so good i love loved them they were very fun very silly and then also just very heart-wrenching and just mm, hit all of the right spots for me i had a really good time which of these two songs was your favorite do you prefer the more slow harmonious soulful kind of song or do you prefer like the silly musical vibes of the back and forth with alistair and lucy let me know down in the comments and with that, my lovely little gremlins, I must bid you adieu because that is all the time I have for this episode. I hope you had fun hanging out with me because I had fun hanging out with you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all the things YouTubers ask you to do. You've been here before. You know how this works. Have a fantastic day, you freaky fly babies. Don't be afraid to give people second chances. They just might surprise you. I love you. Bye. <laughs>